Romans chapter 8 verse 18 for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shai, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shai, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shai, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shai. Call Halal Lai Yahawa by Shem Yahawa Shai. All right, so that's Hebrew. And what I said was, Bless Yahawa, Bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to Yahawa the Father in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, it's going to be a quick show. And um, the title of this lesson will be Sufferings of This Present World. Sufferings of This Present World. All right, now us brothers that are of the hope for elect that's striving in his truth, you know, seeking the Lord every day, doing the will of the Most High, you know, and um you know we're gonna suffer man and uh when you suffer it's a way that you must take it cheerfully you know hey it's all types of sufferings that each brothers go through but each suffering we go through all all measures up for our lot you know no brother is suffering more than the other it's just that's the lot the most high gave you because at the end of the day we signed up for this penny and that penny represents salvation the penny represents the kingdom all right. So in the sufferings in this present world, it's really a light affliction. You know, it's really a light affliction because compared, you know, to the sufferings we went through, you know, in hard bonded slavery, yokes of iron on our neck. This this captivity is light. The most high lighten it up. You know why? Because this truth had to go out. He was weak. He was going to wake up his men, the prophets, the messengers. All right, to, to do this will, to, to do his will, to do this work. All right. And um, I'm just going to get to it. This is Romans chapter 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Now, the key word in there is compared, you know, because the, the glory that we will receive and which which the Lord said is revealed in us because it's already in us. It's just the Lord drawing it out of us, you know. It's the most high, uh, you know, in the twinkle, like Paul said, in the twinkle of an eye, we all shall be changed, you know? So it's really, a, it's in us, but the most high has to, you know, whisper his word or blow his breath upon us, you know, to be quickened. You know, he quickened us just enough to wake up and come up out of this world, you know, get up out of the, philosoph the false philosophies, the ways of this God forsaken place, you know? And he brought us and brought us close to him and to serve him. So the so compared the glory that we're gonna receive is not compared to this light affliction. You know, there's a precept which is which I uh I have to dig for it, but I know it's in the apocrypha, and it says um um uh in in prosperity, uh well roughly paraphrasing, it's it said uh, you know, when you in prosperity you forget about the, the adversity you know something along them lines and that's true you know like you know for an example when jake get their taxes you know even though they've been struggling uh check for check you know hustling and bustling you know to to make ends meet you know you get your taxes you get a lump sum of money a couple of thousands you know you forget about the adversity that you went through you know and um what happens is when that money starts to get low what happens you start to get bitter again you start to worry you know you start to try to you know well you start looking for you know to make that money up you know so i'm gonna read it again it says for the re for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us all right and i'm gonna say this too you know, us brothers of the whole four elect that's teaching his word, we tell you, you know, Jerusalem is a people before a place. And right now, Jerusalem is not in the land which was given to them by the Heavenly Father. Because the Most High, he scattered them throughout the four corners of the earth. And right now, he's gathering them back. And then he's going to deliver them and set them in their land. All right. 
you know, the people that are the, uh, the well, let's say the Edomites that call themselves uh, uh, Israelis, okay, Israel, they're not the people of that land. You know, they, they actually stolen our land and claimed our identity. But that's why we have our big brother, Yahweh Shai, which is going to crack those clouds and make things right for us, man. You know, so this is why in the meantime, we have to suffer, you know, we're suffering, man. So this is, let me get to the next precept. This is 1 Peter chapter 5 and 10. But the most high of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shai Mashiach, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Okay? So it says, but the most high of all grace, because the most high is merciful, and he gives us the grace. You know, in this time, you know, he gave us grace so that we can come back. You know, Yahweh Shai laid his life down so we can have grace. Okay. It says, who called us unto his eternal glory. Notice it says eternal glory because our glory is everlasting. You know, you Edomites will never rise up again. Never. You know, the kingdom and the glory is, is going to be, I can't put it in words. I cannot fix my, my mouth, my, my tongue to put it in words of the glory that, that the, the elect is going to receive, you know, which I hope to be a part of, man. You know, the new bodies, the, 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 the order, you know, the, having servants, slaves, you know, the earth is at its, at its uh, perfect form. Everything is potent. Everything is uh, natural. You know, all the resources we're going to have. Hey, Yahweh Shai mentioned, he said, and John, in my father's house, there's many mansions and I go to prepare a place for you. So the Lord even given us, you know, those of the hopeful elect, excuse me. All right. I hope to be a part of, you know, but um, the Lord has given the elect different planets, man. Different planets, man. That's glory, man. It's the glory in which you're going to receive is going to be out of this world, man. You know, so for this light affliction we're suffering, you have to take it cheerfully. You know, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you get it get rough. You know, you in the flesh, you get angry, you get bitter. You want to snap, man. You know, but the Most High said, take it cheerfully, man. You know, we're suffering for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's sake because, you know, if you was of the world, you would do things of the world. You know, you would make it happen. You will go out there and work three jobs, or you will be out in the streets hustling. You will be that famous, that that fav, that famous rapper, you know, that dumbass rapper on TV, man. Or you might be that athlete that's 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 uh in in, in the NFL, you know, or, or the NBA, you know, you know, star boxer, or whatever, man. But guess what? You let all those things go, because the Lord said, "He that loseth his life for my sake, my sake shall find it." And we truly have found, you know, life. And that's serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right. Because Yahweh Shai is our savior. After that, ye have suffered a while. Make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. So the Lord's going to make us perfect, man. He's going to make us perfect. It says establish. He's going to establish us as the judges, the rulers of the earth. It says strengthen, meaning he's going to strengthen our power. You know, no, no Edomite, no, no sons of the wicked, no sons of man will be able to contest the power we're going to hold, man. All right. It says settle you. OK, we're going to be settled on our land, man. We're going to have our resources. We're going to have our family. We're going to be all right. We're going to be we're going to be better than all right, man. So 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 the sufferings that we go through now. You know, it's it's hard, it's easier said than done. You know, because this is hell, man. This is it's hell. You know? But the Lord said he's the comforter. And he will comfort his little ones with these words. You know? Alright, the next precept. This is Hebrews 13 and 1. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. For thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Okay, so... You know, the scriptures say be apt to teach, be ready to give an answer for the gospel. And and sometimes when we on our daily strolls, 
you know, and somebody may come across you, come into a conversation, you know, you never saw the God before, and he's speaking to you, and he relate to something in the scriptures, which is truth, you know, and then he move, he move a certain way, and he get, it gets you to wonder, like, well, who, who that God, yo, you know, might have been an angel, that's why it's a beautiful thing that the apostles, you know, and elders of great millstone, starting with elder apostle Tahar, he pushed, he, he pushed the vibration for us to be out there teaching, you know, you know, when we teaching the way we are and pushing this truth, the Lord got to do something because the Lord's, the scriptures say, give the Lord no rest, you know, it also helps us to be conditioned, you know, if, if you're, if you're a coach and you're a trainer and you have a, um, you have a, a student that's that's looking to you know looking to be a professional at the sport you know and you're his coach you're going to push him you know you're going to have him uh condition you know so that what he'll be ready at any time when it's time to go you know we got to be ready man we have to be ready man and this is the way that the lord is allowing us to be ready staying focused man you know staying in the spirit all right it says let not, uh be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. And um, another thing that's coming to my mind is the scriptures say we was made as a spectacle. You know, we're made to be on the spotlight, you know. And we're, we're on the spotlight for the good, which is the hopeful elect, you know. But the world may see us as bad because we're talking against society, you know. We're talking against the, the ways in which people live and, and the God they've been worshiping, which is Satan. We're denouncing them, man. Okay, we're bringing into uh, through the spirit of the, the Lord's word is bring, we're bringing their uh, 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 philosophies, you know, their way of life into obedience under Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. People are mad, so they look at us as you know the bad, you know, the radicals, the black Hebrew Israelites, and or or, or you know the niggers or the bums, whatever. But guess what? We have Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. All right, so we're made as a spectacle for all to see. It says, all right, verse three, remember them that are in bonds as bound with them and them which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body. So we're all together. You know, brothers are uh, the, the elect. Let me say this. The elect is together, you know, through the spirit, you know, one one big family, you know, making up that body of Yahweh Shai, you know, and brothers go through it. All right. So it says, remember them that are in bonds. As bound with them and them which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body. Now it says marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers the most high will judge. All right. So, you know, it's kind of going off subject. But marriage, you know, when you have a woman and she yours, she's your property, she belongs to you. When you lay with her, your sex is not undefiled. All right, your sex, excuse me, your sex is not defiled, okay? Your sex is undefiled, you know? And that's why we pray for the kingdom because really, you know, we don't have our women from their, from their youth. We don't have them from their token, you know? Their token was given to someone else and here it is, we're now rehearsing, you know? So that's why in the kingdom it's gonna be beautiful because the women we lie with, we lay with, they're going to be ours and they're going to be your family. And no other man is ever going to lay with them. Nor is your woman going to be enticed or have the spirit, that demon on her to, to want to be someone else. You know, that's, that's, oh man, just that alone. All right. It's glory, man. You know, it's glory when, when, um, the woman of your nation is with you, you know, you, you shine, you know, Hey, what's a man's glory? <laughs> His woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, scriptures say that, man. A man's glory is his woman. What's the glory of a woman? Her hair. All right. So it all ties in. Makes sense, man. All right. So it says, uh, but whoremongers and adulterers, the most high will judge. So you don't want to be a whoremonger, which is like a pimp, you know, and you don't want to be an adulterer. All right. Because, you know, that's just wicked, man. All right. It says, and adulterers, the most high will judge. All right. So stay away from them too, man. It says, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he have said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. All right. So the sufferings, man, we suffer because 
we're not chasing all the moolah. You know, we're not chasing the dream to be the, the top dog, you know, to be something here in this place. We're looking for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to destroy this place. As the words of Yahweh Shai said, he said, the fashion of this world shall pass away. Okay? The way of being a homosexual is going to pass away. You know, the way of you being microchipped with this technology is going to pass away. All right? Women over men is going to pass away. Okay? Children, uh, 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 a serpent authority over their parents is going to pass away. Esau ruling is going to pass away. You heathens, you know, being amongst and mangled amongst these heathens is going to pass away. All right? And I could keep going on and on. So it says, be content with such things as ye have. So we're supposed to be content. And Solomon got into that. We don't want to be rich. You don't want to be poor. You want to be settled. Be content with what you got. You know, if you could make a little more ends on the side and it doesn't into into uh intervene with, with with you serving the lord then that's okay because if you rich as solomon said which is which we understand and reincarnation we know that was yahweh shy and his his wisdom words were if you too rich you will forsake the most high and that's true and if you too poor you were still so you would break the laws of the lord you know you want to be in the middle which is balance all right and that's the things we pray for and strive for you know even that's and that's a part of what our sufferings man you know, you can't enjoy life the way you want to, you know. Children growing up, you might got kids and your kids is suffering too because you're not able to be, you know, you're not in that worldly mindset to be going with your kids here, you know, and going there like the world is. Because why? You 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 have uh, limited options, you know, put it like that. All right. It says, um, and also you don't want to be baited into that type of world. You know, so you you balance, you know, right? You balance. Your brothers know your brothers know what I'm talking about. All right. It says, For we have said, I will never leave thee. It says, For he have said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. You hear these words, man? The Lord said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. You know, another scripture popping in my mind is a precept where the Lord said, uh, when have the righteous been forsaken and begging bread? All right. So there you go, man. The Lord is with us, man. He said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So if we're doing the works of the Most High and, and we're doing all that, don't think that the Lord forgot or the Lord is forgetting about you. You might be up and then now you're down. The Lord is always there. These are trials and tribulations we got to go through in order for the Lord to polish us to be white, you know, to purify us, man. You know, some things you got to you gotta transfer that energy from being angry and mad at the world Unto just being joyful in the Lord, man. You know, and may the Lord, like the Lord said, he'd make a way for you to escape. Because he says here, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. All right, so verse 6. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper and I will not fear what man can do unto me, man. And that was a powerful words there, man. You understand that, man? It says, so that we may boldly say, boldly. All right. The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Okay? And that's because no man, nor principality, okay, as Paul was saying, nor nakedness, nor peril can separate your love for Yahweh Shai. Also, nobody can tell you different. Okay? Because if you know that the Lord got you through, and you're giving all praises to Yahweh Shai, and you know he's done uh, something for you to help you. Nobody could take that away from you. Not even Esau. He could kill your body, but he can't take away your spirit and your love, man. You know, the Most High, when he does, you know, he show you chariots. He gives us visions and dreams. You know, he helps us out in our needs. You know, we give him all praise, man. Certain things that you may go through, situations, and then you make, you wait, you're able to get out of it. Can't no man take that, that experience away from you, you know. So sufferings in this world is a good thing, and it's a light affliction. You know, it's just how you channeling your energy, man. You know, now it's not good. Of course, it's hell, and we all don't want to suffer. But the point is, you know, we have to suffer regardless. You know, until Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds and we receive glory as He received the glory. You know. Hey, the scriptures say the more they afflicted them, the more they grew. 
in a way, the more Esau afflicts you, the more your faith is going is going to be more toward your how about Shmuel was shot. What else have we got to lose here? We already lost it because why? The Most High took us from out of the world. I'm gonna quote it again. The Lord said, "He that loseth his life for my sake shall find it." Okay, meaning he was gonna find his life because he lost his life in this world. All right, you no longer of society. You no longer of the banqueting, the rioting, you know, the uh, the folly, you know. So you're gonna suffer. You know. All right. So this is Second Corinthians one and um and and three. Blessed be the Most High, even the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the Father of mercies and of the and of the excuse me and of the God. And the God of, I'm going to read it again, so like, blessed be Yahweh, even the father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, because he is the power of all comfort. The Most High said, he kill, he make alive. He wound, he heal. All right? So he is the power of all comfort. Verse 4, who comforteth us in all our tribulation? That we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort where wherewith we ourselves are comforted of Yahweh. So we're able to comfort brothers with these words because the Lord has set a brother up and gave him experience, sent him through things. So now when another brother's going through things, we're able to comfort you with the word, man. It says, verse 5, for as the sufferings of Yahweh Shai abound in us, so our constellation also aboundeth in Yahweh Shai. Okay, so our reward is with the Lord. If the Lord suffered here, we're going to suffer. When the Lord received the glory, we're going to receive the glory, man. Okay, it says, verse 6, and whether we be afflicted, it is for your constellation and salvation, which is effectual. In the, endure, in the enduring of the same suffering which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for the constellation and salvation. So there you go, man. The suffering is for your constellation and your salvation, man. Verse 7, and our hope of you, and our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall ye be also of the constellation, you know, and that speaks for itself. And I said it already. When Yahweh Shai returned, then we we'll received the uh, reward. But as Yahweh Shai was here, when he walked here, he was suffering, man. Okay, so that's like mine. We're teaching his spirit. We're teaching his word. We're going to suffer, man. Now, this is the last precept, and I'm going to wrap this thing up. This is John 15 and 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. You hear that, man? Whatever we ask for, we're going to have it. You know? Whatever we ask for, we're going to have it, man. That's the glory, and that's the power we're about to receive, man. Those of the hopeful elect. All right? Like I said, you know, which I hope to be a part of, man. All right? Lord's willing, man. Because it is a race. And it's all about enduring, man. I'm going to read it one more time. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. It's going to be done unto you, meaning it's going to be given to you. Whatever we ask for. We ask the heads for these, for these Edomites, it's going to be done. All right? We ask for recompense for those that had troubled us, it's going to be done. All right? So for all these wicked-ass women... All right, all these wicked niggas out here that ever crossed path with you and that troubled you, they done. Okay? That glory is coming, man. All right? That glory is coming, that power is coming. Okay? The glory of ruling the earth, man. That's that's something else. You got to be you got to be a powerful man. You got to be powerful to, to rule the earth, you know? And that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and especially ruling the earth in righteousness, man. And um, Salakia, one more precept. This is uh, Second uh, Edris, chapter sixteen, and um, I start at seventy-four. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord: Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. 
Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. All right, now it says guide, G-U-I-D-E. You know, the Most High is our God, G-O-D, and he's also our guide, G-U-I-D-E. He is our roadmap. He is our power. All right, so he says, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So the key key words of why I brought this out, because it says uh, them who keep my commandments and precepts. All right. Commandments and precepts. And that's the hope for elect. So I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, we all suffering. You know, and we I hate this fucking place, man. You made the Lord destroy it, man. You know, may the Lord finally let these devils start forcing this chip, man. You know, force the chip, Esau. Come on. Force it, man. You know, get us. A, get, let, let the Lord deliver us, man. You know, bring it, man. What you waiting on? You know, because this is this is one sinful, God-forsaken place. It's hell here, man. You know, and um, we read these scriptures and we bring them out to comfort each other, and you comfort yourself too, man. Because these scriptures we put out is for ourselves first, and then, you know, it's for teaching the, the whole for elect, man. So with that, uh, shalom, shalom.